What's going on YouTube? Fuzzy Wuzzy, hanging out in the gay garage. This uh, Ford Exploder. Man, I got a mess going in here. Tipping engine over and it pisses out all the antifreeze and what a mess. Anywho, this thing started off as a um, transmission swap because I had one laying around. I bought this car, bad transmission. It's a clean car. It's in good shape. But had a timing rattle. And these four liter Fords, you know they're infamous for having a timing chain on the front or in the back of the motor. Well, with the transmission out, there ain't much holding that motor in. You're looking at everything. You know, I had it out in a couple hours. And um, I was almost, almost, almost being a lazy guy because I, this is one of the cars I'm going to be selling and passing on just doing what I need to do so it starts and runs quietly. I wasn't going to pull this oil pan, but I'm glad I did. Look at that oil pickup. That's exactly how I pulled the pan. Now, mind you, the engine's upside down. So when I rotated it over, all that shit stayed there. That's all bits of timing rattle. You can't even see the screen. That's incredible to me, man. When this thing ran, it ran okay. Uh, you could hear the, the chains rattling, but no oil pressure light, no nothing. And you could see a little, little bit of remnants that stayed in the bottom of the oil pan there. I just, uh, just wanted to show this to you, man. i never seen this shit before. So, thought I'd pass it along. Lesson of the day, don't be lazy mechanic. Always, always, always pull your pan. Alright, thanks for watching, YouTube. Peace. Man, the shit is all up in here. It sucked it all the way back. There's no way this thing wasn't starving for oil. Despite what my gauge was saying, I just don't believe it. I don't know how I'm going to get all this shit out. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.